there, there is an entity um, uh, called Trillion that um, um, uh, one Salim Isa is um, involved in. Uh, we have a fraud risk um, assessment uh, that we do inside Transnet. We are not aware that uh, Salim Isa is either a blacklisted or a convicted individual. Um, so there's nothing that says to us that Salim Isa cannot do business with Transnet. Um, so uh, we heard that uh, he owns a portion of Trillion, which was a part of uh, regiments. Uh, regiments had a contract with us. Uh, they asked us, uh, uh, they indicated to us that they had an intention of ceding it to Trillion. Uh, we have dealt with uh, all of those issues around Trillion and in fact uh, our view as Transnet we have come to the view that we will terminate and have in fact terminated um, uh, both uh, with Trillion as well as regiments who are fighting in public amongst themselves and have been dragging the name of Transnet um, uh, into the public view. Uh, we are quite satisfied uh, ourselves that uh, we have received good value in terms of uh, the work uh, that Trillian had done on behalf of regiments uh, during the time that um, uh, they did that work um, at Transnet. People are saying political parties are captured uh, by private business. Uh, people are saying maybe the judiciary is captured. Uh, people are saying maybe SOCs are captured. Who is captured? So this capture story is a very long one, as I understand it, uh, since the arrival of Jan van Riebeek. Uh, in this country in 1652 when people began to take land